Hey everybody, Joshua, TBC. I uh, wanted to make a video for you guys today, this morning. Uh, had a, a wire get rubbed through Friday of last week and shorted out my right turn signals and my right marker lamps and my trailer lights, everything was out. Uh, so obviously I found the shorted wire, they rubbed against the frame rail on my light bar on the back of my Pete and uh, fixed the short and the rub, got all that fixed. <clears throat> but I still had no right rear turn signals or left front turn signals. Everything else worked. All my trailer turn signals, marker lamps, everything, stop lamps, everything's working except those two. So it was a little weird because in a Peterbilt, I couldn't find the fuse for the individual turn signals. And so I went ahead, went through the wiring loom, made sure everything was good. There was no more breaks, no more uh, shorts, rubs, anything of that nature. But still could not figure it out where that particular fuse was for the turn signals. Um, went through all three fuse panels because if you're not aware on a on a 389 Peterbilt you got three separate well four separate fuse panels that run the entire truck everything's divided in between them um, so <clears throat> that's why if you don't have one of these tools a test lamp you can do it with a voltmeter too or you can do it with a fuse test tool but a test lamp uh, definitely carry one of these in your trucks because if you look right here that fuse right there was not labeled as a turn signal it was labeled as a power fuse only it's a power g320 amp in the f2 position right there that fuse i couldn't really see it because it was dirty but it was burnt out replace that and the only way you can figure out is if you test each and every one of them both sides positive and negative so you want to test each one and this will let you know if you've got a burnt out fuse. Um, so sure enough, we found a fuse that got cooked, replaced it, problem's gone, all solved. So definitely carry a test light, carry extra fuses in your truck all the time. You've got to do that by law anyways. They don't ask for it much anymore. I probably haven't been asked if I have spare fuses in 15 years, but still by law. So there's your video for the day. And thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next one and we'll see you on down the road.